You've probably heard the term password manager more times than you care to count, and you might even be using one yourself. But with more and more of the options, limiting features, and charging a monthly subscription for something that really should be getting cheaper and more feature-rich, not less, it's amazing to see a, an actually free solution that's still secure and feature rich and also doesn't require a complicated setup process that's not for everyone like self-hosting. That's where this video sponsor Synology comes in with their brand new service called C2 Password. Synology has been offering a number of cloud computing and storage solutions under the C2 name since 2017 but just this year launched C2 Password, their highly secure password manage management solution to store, sync, and safeguard your passwords and personal information. I'll explain more in a second, but first let me address the, the issue over the question of cost. This is a fully free service. There's no billing or payment information required. Now that often means that the cost is your data. But happily, that's not the case here. Synology will be offering a paid plan, specifically a, a family plan, which will offer higher limits to things like file transfers and, as they say, more advanced features. But that won't affect the free tier. Your data is fully end-to-end -end encrypted, so it won't be compromised by any interceptions. And on top of that, it's designed to be a, a zero-knowledge proof system, meaning that even Synology can't access your passwords or secure data. The other hook is that once you're on the C2 platform, they hope that you'll like their features enough that you want to make use of their other C2 services, like their upcoming backup tool or their cloud storage solution. Add to that uh, Synology being an established and trusted company with an existing revenue source, uh, that means that C2 Password or even the C2 platform in general isn't their entire business model. As for security, like I said, they make use of complete end-to-end -end encryption, primarily using AES-256. They have a white paper you can have a read through which details both how they derive the keys including which functions they use, the transfers involved in securely registering your keys with their service, and how the data is stored and encrypted locally. So hopefully you can be satisfied with the security in business and now I can explain the features. This isn't just a password manager, although it does that very well. It's a tool that lets you store everything from your accounts and passwords to important documents, banking information, addresses, secure notes, and even Wi-Fi details. You can manually add your existing passwords or import a CSV if you've already got them stored somewhere. If you do it manually, you'll be able to not only add things like the account name, password, and what website that detail, login detail is for, but if you want to attach a note or even a file, you can add that in. Of course, when using their browser extension, it will automatically save the new passwords and then autofill them when you return to the site with details save for it. You can also see all of your saved data and search through them or generate new secure passwords that are between five and 30 characters long. And it even has toggles for upper and lowercase numbers and special characters in case some sites are picky. You'll also be able to access your data from the upcoming Android and iOS apps, and no matter what device or browser you're in, you can always just head to their website and access all of your data from there. One limitation you'll often see is a cap on the number of devices your data will sync between. This doesn't have that limit. It will sync with an unlimited number of devices, no matter the type or location. It's designed to be used by anyone, including both for business and as an individual. And the cap, the, the only cap that you have is the number of items you can store, which is 10,000 a limit I can't imagine many would be hitting in a hurry. On top of the password storage, they also have an integrated file transfer system, all still within the free plan. 
you are limited to a single transfer of up to 100 megabytes to a single recipient at a time and a maximum of seven days uh, of that file transfer being valid but still being able to share files securely and with actually complete security is incredibly useful. They not only give you a link to share the file but they also secure that link with the recipient's email and send a verification code when the link is accessed, meaning you can share that link completely publicly and only the intended recipient will be able to access the files. So that is a, a brief look at C2 Password. I'll be leaving a link to it at the top of the description so that you can go and check them out and even sign up yourself. I do want to thank Synology again for sponsoring this video and I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave those in the comments down below. If you have any of your own thoughts on the password manager, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Uh, like I said, if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description along with a load of other links you can check out too. There'll be plenty of other videos on the end card you can take a look at. And if you want to see more videos like this one, both from software and hardware reviews and showcases and a load of other stuff, then do hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.